Now we will move to something called series. Now what is a series? Actually a series comes from a sequence. You have a first sequence here 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17 etc. Now if you sum all the terms of this 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 14 plus 17 plus etc. This is a sum and this sum is infinite because the terms in the sequence is infinite. So we call this sum an infinite series because it has an infinite number of terms. As this series comes from an arithmetic sequence, we call this series as an arithmetic series. Here you have a geometric sequence. Now if I write it as a sum, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus etc. This is also an infinite series and since it comes from a geometric sequence, this series is called a geometric series. So a series is a sum of the terms of a sequence. So a series is generated from a sequence by simply adding all the terms of a sequence. In this module we have to study only geometric series. So we will be studying or discussing more on geometric sequence and geometric series. Now remember I told you geometric sequences are generated by starting with any number and multiplying a fixed number to it. Suppose A is any non-zero number and R is also a non-zero number. That means A and R are both not equal to 0. A comma R not equal to 0. Now we start generating a geometric sequence by starting with A and consecutively multiplying the term with R. So the first term of the geometric sequence will be A. Then you will get a multiply r. I write it as a r. Then again you multiply with r. So a r multiply r. So a r multiply r. So r is multiplied two times. So you will get a r multiply r. You will get r square. So the third term will be a r square. Then for the next term again you have to multiply with r. So you will get a r square multiply r. So total r 3 r's are there so you will get r cube. So the next term will be a r cube. Again when you multiply with r. So r cube into r you will get r raised to 4. So a r raised to 4. Then the next term will be a r raised to 5, a r raised to 6 and so on. So this is the general form of a geometric sequence. a, a r, a r square, a r cube, a r raised to 4, a r raised to 5, a r raised to 6 etc. You can see that as the terms progress forward the power of r is increasing. So first no power of r because we, are, we did not multiply it with r. Here we started multiplying with r. So r only one r there. Here again multiplied with r. So total 2r. So r square. 
again one more r r cube again one more r r raised to four again one more r r raised to five like that now i will denote the first term this is called the first term this is the second term of the geometric sequence this is the third term of the geometric sequence this is the fourth term of the geometric sequence fifth term sixth term seventh term and so on i will denote the first term by a1 second term by a2 third term by a3 fourth term by a4 fifth term by a5 and so on now you can see that a1 equal to a a2 equal to a r a3 equal to a r square a4 is equal to a r cube a5 equal to a r power 4 now look at the terms closely just leave the first two terms when it is a3 it is a r power 2 a4 it is a r power 3 a5 it is a r power 4 if you move similarly you can see that a10 will be a r power 9 because whatever comes here it will be one less here so if it is a3 then it will be a r power 2 a4 a r power 3 a5 a r power 4 so a10 will be a r power 9 so what is a25 a25 will be a r power one less here so it will be 24 so what is a hundred a hundred is a r power one less here so one less than hundred means 99 so in general a n n is any integer then a n will be a r raised to 1 less than n that means n minus 1 so this is the formula for finding the nth term of a geometric sequence nth term of a geometric sequence one more thing i just forgot to tell you i told you that if a and r are any non-zero numbers then the geometric sequence is obtained by multiplying a consecutively with r so you will get a r a r square a r cube etc so i told you this a is called the first term second term third term fourth term like that now what I forgot to tell you is look at this number r this is a this is a fixed number with which I am multiplying a so each term of the sequence is obtained by multiplying the previous term with r so the third term is obtained by multiplying the second term with r fourth term is obtained by multiplying the third term with r like that for example i have already gave you some example we'll try a new one start with 3 multiply with 2 so you'll get 3 then 3 multiply to 6 again 6 multiply to 12 again 12 multiply to 24 again 24 multiply to 48 again 48 multiply to 96 and so on so this is an example of a geometric sequence now the number r here it is 2 which we use to generate this sequence this geometric sequence is called the common ratio so in this geometric sequence the common ratio is 2 now we had a previous example where we started with 8 and we kept on multiplying 1 by 2 so the common ratio there is 1 by 2 and that sequence hope you remember it was 
eight four two one one by two one by four one by eight etc so this was a sequence with first term eight and common ratio one by two you start with one and keep on multiplying three so you'll get a geometric sequence here one multiply with three you get three again multiply with three you will get nine again multiply with three you will get uh, 27 again multiply with three you will get 81 again multiply with three you will get 243 and so on so this is a geometric sequence with uh, first term one and common ratio three now if you sum up the terms of this geometric sequence you will get 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 27 plus 81 plus 243 plus etc so this is a geometric series obtained from the sequence the geometric sequence with first term a and common ratio r is a a r a r square a r cube, a r raised to 4, etc. The geometric series corresponding this to this geometric sequence is a plus a r plus a r square plus a r cube plus a r raised to 4 plus etc. Now in short, this series is represented k is equal to 1 to infinity a r raised to k minus 1 or sigma k is equal to 0 to infinity a r raised to k. So we will use any one of these notations to represent the geometric series a plus a r plus a r square plus etc. Now what do you mean by this representation? Sigma stands for summation sum. Okay. So this means it is a sum. You can see that there is k equal to 1 below the sigma and infinity above the sigma. That means this means that k, the value of k varies from 1 till infinity. That means it takes the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. till infinity. Now if I put k is equal to 1 here. I will get a r raised to 1 minus 1 okay plus sigma means sum so you got to put plus then you put the next value of k after 1 you have 2 so you will get a you have to put the value here so you will get a r raised to k is 2 so you will get 2 minus 1 plus a r raised to 3 minus 1 plus a r raised to 4 minus 1 plus etc. You need not write all the terms because there are infinite number of terms. Now r raised to 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus 1 is 4 minus 1 is 3. So here you have a r raised to 0 plus here you have a r raised to 1 plus next you have a r raised to 2. Next you have a r raised to 3 plus and so on. Now any number, any non-zero number raised to zero, if x is any non-zero number, then x raised to zero is one. Value of two raised to zero, one. 
value of 5 raised to 0, this is 1. The value of 1 by 2 raised to 0 is 1. So whatever be the value of x, x raised to 0 is 1. So r raised to 0, r raised to 0 is 1. So you have a multiplied with 1, a multiplied with 1 is a. And we also have that x raised to 1 is x. x raised to 1 is x. You have x 1 times. So r raised to 1 is r. So we can write this as a r plus a r square plus a r raised to 3 plus x. So this is what you get when you use the first summation, this one. When you use the second summation, you will check what we will get. First we have to put k is equal to 0 here. So when you put k is equal to 0, it will be a r raised to 0 because k value is 0. Put the next value for k. After 0 you have 1. So it is a r raised to 1 plus next value a r raised to 2 plus next value a r raised to 3 plus etc. Now we have already seen that r raised to 0 means 1. So a into 1 you will get a plus r raised to 1 is r itself. So a multiplied by r you will get a r plus a r square plus a r raised to 3 plus etc. Compare this and this. You can see that both are same. First term is a, next is a r, next is a r square, next is a r cube plus etc. a plus a r plus a r square plus a r cube plus etc. So we may use both the notations to represent a geometric series. So what we have seen just now is that the geometric series a plus a r plus a r square plus a r q plus etc. can be written in short as sigma k is equal to 1 to infinity a r raised to k minus 1.